News update. And a good Friday afternoon. Thanks for watching NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your midday Arklamas update. On Thursday, the Glenwood Medical Mall hosted a business expo. The public had a chance to enjoy live music, great food, fantastic door prizes, and more. There were 100 businesses showcased this year. The event gives the chance for businesses to expand their, their business and create public awareness of their products or services that they offer. They can also network and exchange ideas. Also happening today, Mayor Friday Ellis, the city of Monroe and Healthy Fun Row hosted the highly anticipated picnic in the park event. The event was held at Forsyth. The public got the chance to come out for the local food trucks, vendors, community partner booths, and live music. And new today, yesterday evening, the Northeast Louisiana Music Awards held their nominee release party at Flying Heart Pub. They announced the top four nominees in each category and gave several awards for categories such as Country Crossover Band, Classical Musician, Music Event of the Year, and Music Producer. The main event is set to take place this August 15th at the Monroe Civic Center. If you're looking to have a good time in downtown El Dorado, keep your drinks inside the bar or the restaurant. The El Dorado Entertainment District has been in place for years now, and it has allowed people to drink alcohol in a certain area downtown as long as it was purchased in a business that served that area and in an approved cup. El Dorado police say that's yeah, a problem, and the city council agreed to revoke that long time ordinance. Deal with it now, and then we can bring these people together. And if there's if there's something that needs to be done to better define what needs to happen right. downtown, right. we do it with their input. Right. Right. But right now, I think I think I'm not reading between the lines. I'm reading reports, <coughs> and and what I'm hearing is we're about to hit a critical mass downtown. Well, bar and restaurant owners in downtown El Dorado say their patrons aren't the problem. Instead, it's teens and troublemakers that bring their own beverages that are causing the issue. We'll keep you updated with any new information on air and online at myarklamas.com. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We are expecting to heat up today as temperatures rise back to the mid-90s. We have heat advisors that will be in effect, so continue to practice heat safety for today. And there might even be a chance for a pop-up shower that could be around Jonesville, mainly for our southern parishes, LaSalle, Cuyahoga, Concordia, and even Grant. Mainly central Louisiana will have that chance because we get, do have some warm moisture flowing in. And we do have a boundary layer, which is actually going to push further to the north, which is the reason why these winds will shift more suddenly. And that's the reason why it's going to be warm and still very humid as for this weekend and going into next week as well. Cloud cover kind of picks up a little bit early tomorrow morning, but we will see this kind of mixture of sudden clouds because there's just going to be so much moisture in place. And honestly, combine that with some daytime heating, kind of has that more tropical-like environment. So a patchy shower or even a thunderstorm could pop up for tomorrow, but really rain chance to stay at just 10% confidence, really not too high with that. But we do have another boundary layer that's going to be pushing in later on towards Sunday and Monday, and we have increased rain chances to kick off next week. And might even see a free break from the heat. Of course, it's not going to be lasting long, though. Heat advisors have been affected for most of the offices for today that runs up until at least 7 o'clock. So like I said, just keep practicing heat safety for this afternoon. Tonight will fall to the mid-70s, staying warm and muggy. Winds will stay out of the southeast. And for tomorrow, not much of any relief. We still expect to hit mid to upper 90s. And excessive heat is expected to return next week as we go into the first week of July. There's a chance of rain and thunderstorms Sunday through Monday. And course Friday, midday update, NBC News Daily continues now. Watch out for the heat. Check on your neighbors and friends. Pets, please. And let's take care of each other. Until then, have a good Friday, and we'll see you next time. God bless you. Stay cool. When you see news happening, call the NBC 10 Fox 14 News Hotline, 812-1410. That's 812-1410.